on the game itself as we throw you out here in the battlefield so yeah maybe we it's good it's just right if we do a quick rundown of the heroes and the two layers that we have so far in here so for team sync it uh, I'll start it off. Oh, but hold a thought because there's an action ongoing onto the bot side right away. Um, nothing will happen, it seems, or Tira. Oh, very low in HP. Alright, continuing. We have Yuri Beauty. You, that's Yuri Gaming on the Valir. Akosi Pepper TV on that Grok. Fluffy for that Popol and Kupa. Sainty TV for that Claude. And High Pits TV on that x -Borg. For Team Jajamon. We have Tira on that Tiranus, ML uh, will be on that Esmeralda, <laughs> Akusidogi will be playing that Luwari, Nakal will be on the Atlas, and Rene J on to that Hulkrit. Okay, I gotta yep. check who so that Chang ML it's Chang is. It's Chang'o, oh, it's Chang'o, okay. it's Chang'o, it's Chang'o, Chang Chang I checked as well. <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, I, I read it with a question mark, which is how you're supposed to say it, because it's with a question mark. Because Pepper is gonna go right in between the thick of the action. The ground block not gonna be perfect, unfortunately, but the bits is gonna be there to cover their retreat. Chango will be going right back in. x -Bart will just spoil your hype bits. Not so hype when you're in the grave, buddy. Well, you know what? Many of our creators on the side of Team Sync Kid loves playing carry heroes. ADC heroes, but this time they gotta adjust. Some of the members needs to make an adjustment, and I have a feeling that some of them are not quite used to maybe making use of tank support, um, just like maybe a Cosy Pepper TV. But yeah, as you can see right now, an invade is on going on to the top side. Flaffe trying to back away. I'm not too sure if he was able to make it, but he was even able to get a kill. I think Team Jejimon was way kill. too overextended. The Cosy Doggy will fall down. Double kill going for the Claude. Chang U, what can he do? Oh, getting stunned out? No, that's so far. And instead, it is actually Team Dejimon getting punished for their very aggressive plays just right of the moment when I, when I was saying that maybe Team Sinkit isn't used to playing a lot of I tanky know. heroes or maybe they as a tank and support. Then, the, yeah, they proved me wrong. They said, um, with this overextension Team Dejimon keeps on doing, we can fight back. Mm. We can win this. And I like how it was Akosi Pepper who killed Akosi Doggy. Like, who is the true <laughs> Ako? Who is the real is me? The <laughs> As they say, right? But yeah, yeah that was nice. Sure. But Louis, well, he finally has the ultimate. So I, I can't wait to see those diversion plays. Because it's not like. It's a very new element or mechanic in Mobile Legends, the diversion. So. I want to see if Team Jajimon will be able to pull it off. Mm -hmm. You can see how Team Sinkit knows how to play so well and save themselves from a potential 4v1 or 5v1 gank event. And we saw that uh, being uh, successfully done by Fluffy on the top side a while ago when everyone was basically going on all in for him but for the meantime you can see that 1v1 ongoing at the top side that uranus is just so tanky with the shields team Dejimon is going in under turret of team sing kit knock kill or oh yes that was actually atlas the knock kill head is gonna go down onto the hands of team sing kit will there be an exchange hype it fell down as well by the way but no turrets will be taken down on the mid side but instead Rene J, so as his Tira, will be taking the tier 2 on the top lane. I like how Simkit is really keeping it close. They can keep in step with Doggy Steam. Tira, what is this extension, my friend? And nope, yeah, proving to us like he is actually tanky. Tanky enough to walk away. Um, wow. Turtle resurrecting uh, soon. That's Uranus. And, uh, yeah, that is the power of Uranus. I, I, oh man. I feel like if Tim Sinkit wants to win this, they have to end the game up only to like somewhere in the mid game time. The tankiness of Esmeralda as well as that, that Uranus might might be a problem problem. Even though we got this good damage output coming from Saint T V on that Claude, it might be a problem if we allow this game to make up up to the late game stage. Mm -hmm. Well, 
It's gonna be action right now because the turtle fight is very important. Rene J will actually take it. The Hellcurt with the Blaze Knuckle will fall here. First to fall, Xborg will pick him up. The Popo and Koopa will die. Wow, oh my god, Sinkit is actually going to be able to take this fight away. You get the turtle, but we will take your lives. Yeah, and plus the turrets in the mid lane, and they will be even be able to take some of the jungle camp of Team Jejemon in here. But of course, look at that Tira going onto the backside. I wonder what can they can do in it. But the damage of oh my goodness, the damage of Claude is just so real. Look at that. Given the assistance of Yuri, uh, gaming as well. Um, Tira just can't do anything. We know that this is a tanky. Uranus, but that was nothing with the damage output coming from the Claude Sainty TV. Knuckle, oh, a bit of a knucklehead play there. Ashidogi following his team, Louis to fall right before buying oh, the immortality. Man. But yeah, Rene J getting the revenge that he wants, gets the triple, has his eyes on Sainty, will be able to BMI away. Hellcurt, you're fast, but you're not as fast. Imagine, as the imagine if the Louis was there. And they're chase and they oh, need yeah. to chase something. Unfortunately, he, true, he, he wasn't there. He that Dogi died very very early in that fight. Yeah. It was way too early, but as you can see, even though um, it, it, it's not pretty much balanced. I mean, the minion waves, the gold is quite even as well. It's just uh, so happened that Team Sinkit was winning more team fights, but. The moment Rene J comes in, the fight, um, Rene J just basically deletes Sainty. It could be Whoa, either Sainty TV soon. or Yuri Gaming on the side of Team Sinky. So I think they gotta be I very careful, Sinky. especially on the setup that they can pull off. Definitely, I think Sinky won't try to fight without if they don't see the Helker. But they are fighting right now because of Pepper over in the. Frontline just standing mightily and we'll get the kill onto that knuckle but immortality has popped He'll just die the second time once again I was a pepper on a sliver of health will live on a prayer He is praying to the one true god in Mobile Legends definitely And the return kill is gonna be there Whoa, two kills the judge on that Actually taking this momentum, Chang will pick up that one, and they are gonna transition this into the objective. And Sinkit, can you contest this Lord without your with, no. without Sinkit? Yeah, twenty three seconds away. That, but I don't think Sinkit look at that ultimate coming from Louis. What was that? That was worth it though. That was worth it in Tira. Like he just threw his body to make sure they're as far away from Lord as possible. That was a good play. That was a good play for me, all the way. Now, a while ago, we were seeing that this team gets game. But apparently, after those successive kills from Rene J, the tables have turned. It is now Team Jejimon's game. And they, they're showing power, they're showing some sustain with that Chang U pick as well. And look at that, even killing one, but the Blazing Duet is in here, killing two men from the side of Team Jejemon. Rene J just patiently waiting in the bushes. He definitely needs to find the, the right target. It's just either the Claude or the, the Vazir. So, um, Akosi Pepper, of course, must be very attentive as well as to where his carries are positioned, making sure that uh, Rene J won't be bursting any of his carries down. Definitely. And despite how aggressive Akosi Pepper is playing, he hasn't died the, the once. Well, that's actually pretty expensive. Impressive, but yeah, Rene J doing Hellcurt things will be over in the bot lane. Okay, Last Insanity will pop, God but no, he just deletes Hypebeast with his immortality, and there we go. Finally, they will take down the Dark Knight. But no, they want A revenge. Shutdown. And Judge and Tira just right in the middle of everything. He will survive for now. Blink forward with the Blazing Duet and Akasidogi. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. Player, but... No, you know what? I think this time we can see Lu Yi is not being that very much effective in this on the team fights that's been happening. 
Yeah, not really doing much, and Uranus will fall here. I mean, we haven't really seen how, how good Lu Lui can be. Uh, yeah, um, who Esmeralda though? Making it count for Team Jejimon, but the Atlas will fall. Chang is still very, very healthy on that Esmeralda. And have to walk away while his teammates hit the grave. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think now it is, although this is just game one, it feels like a do or die moment as to who I will know, win this exactly. game. My <laughs> sentiments also, Kaisaya. <laughs> Well, let's see, because because it's, it feels like Jejimon just needs to win one more team fight before they can end this. And at the same time, Team Sinkit can still make a comeback if they win that fight that Jejimon might push through. So if not end, maybe they can at least take down the tier 2 and, in, and the inhibitor turret in the middle lane of Team Jejimon. And that is also already a good thing to at least catch up on the gold lead. <laughs> but both teams really, like, on one side you have a very fat Claude, on the other you have a very fat Helkert. So, it, it's all about execution at this point. This this 4,000 gold lead at the 13 minute mark, that is nothing in Mobile Legends. Almost nothing. Especially if the itemizations are already luck. But yeah, for Team Sinkit, they said, let's just play the waiting game. For the meantime, let's wait for them to do an aggressive play once more and from there let's make a comeback but what they have to avoid in here on the side of team sinkit is the overextension for themselves because look at that it's gonna be scary especially if they don't have a way to back away mm, yep bmi away sainty definitely angelic oh, with his maneuvers there mm -hmm. The Lord is oh, there goes up. The Lord. Both teams are posturing for it. This is gonna be a big fight. Akose Pepper in the front line already at the third, uh, at sixth of his life. But Hype Bits gonna go right in. Black Armor is gonna pop almost instantly over in the back line of the Blazing Duet. Not just quite enough damage, unfortunately. And they'll have to back away. Way and they even me. lose the Grok. <laughs> Pepper is down. And this is gonna be a free Lord now for Jejimon. Without your front line yeah. without Pepper. You're not gonna be able to yeah, do this. well, I I think Claude got the damage. It's just that Team Jejimon is way too tanky. Imagine Atlas, Esmeralda, Tira, 40 that minute game true. time. Man, they got the items that they need already to to stay alive, even under turret, even without minions. They can still alive with the shields that they got. Oh, I mean, this is like shield gaming forever for Team Jejimon. Both Tira and uh, Changu got those what more if there's a setup coming good setup coming from knucklehead or knucklehead <laughs> absolutely i just say it's knucklehead because you know it's an english stream so might as well i know right i got confused for a while there if i should pronounce it like tagalog knucklehead mm. but whatever mm, I, I mean the I, lord is in here I, I, earlier we were saying im obos <laughs> yeah him right. wipe so, out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And there we go. Jejimon, they want blood. They have the Lord on their side. No one is dying just yet. It's looking like it's gonna be Naka, but that's just the immortality. He'll die the once. I don't think he'll die the twice. Well, you know, Chang was just going right oh. back in. Saint E.D. Force all the way back to his base there. And the Lord is still doing work. Helkert as well. The Helkert and the Lord, but the Dark Knight will fall now. Not the ultimate, the hero. But the third, but the Lord is already having his way with the base, but no, they're holding it! Dogi is going to run away and leave Tira for dead. And yeah, that is going to be the Uranus <laughs> down. Very, very costly defense, but they made it work. They're still alive. Dogi is oh, back man. right in. Fluffy poking at him. Dogi, what did you do? What are you doing back here, my friend? Doggy will hit the grave yet again for the sixth time this game. Not really the cleanest of games. From Doggy. Not really. Right now. Even even Knucklehead, I mean he got six I mean seven dead. But yeah, the base of Team Sinkit is already wide open. It was just quite unfortunate that a cause Doggy had to die there. He could have just backed away and regenerated. Yeah, I thought he was gonna I don't know, maybe he was... for dead already. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, but he went back, already. right? 
Maybe they yeah. got um got a miscommunication. Should I save you or what? I don't know, man. But um, it's up to them. Maybe the <laughs> they're friends. Version. Yeah, they're good friends, so they're <laughs> they're gonna join each other in the in the heavens. <laughs> Well, well, to be fair, Doggy is basically friends with every single person in the Mobile Legends scene. So, I get it. Rene J, he's oh. alone. He's doing the damage, but he's not very tanky. He'll force them back. Pop his ultimate while doing it. Setup being planned by Chang U. They got the pressure in against Tim Sinkit. Tim Sinkit's base is less than or almost half life. And they got the minion waves flowing throughout all of the lanes. It seems like they're gonna force this in. Oh, look at the back side shutting down on the on the back end. Was that Pop and Go Powder trying to focus fire onto the base right now? But no, they wanna get more kills. Tira though is actually trying to focus while Chang Oh forced to join a team fight or forced to still hit some of the heroes. This is the second time I think Team Jajumon failed to manage. To put an end onto this game. Look at that. Getting knocked back are the minion waves by Hype Bits. Tira going so low. Ako si Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm still not seeing uh, Louis, a Louis hero contributing that match into clashes. Maybe if that's Lord, a different support hero, um, they could have won this early on. But you know, it's okay. Team Jejumon are feeling good. They're winning despite Louis not really doing Louis things. <laughs> yeah. Also, Pepper though, he's putting himself in an awkward position. Will survive though, very tanky. He is made out of rock after all. Hype bits will try to go on Tira, but no, they're just like dickling him. Shields for days, like you said, uh -oh. Kaysaya. You're just gonna run him down without your Firaga armor. What are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah you're gonna die. 50 seconds in the ground for Hype bits. Yep. And straight into the Lord they go. Not like they need it, but they really just want to secure this game the cleanest way possible for Team Judgment. Popol and Gupa, yeah, I... he's spoking, he's prodding. What will he go for here? Nope, Knuckle. Not under Knuckle's watchful eye here. He's gonna get the stun onto Fluffy. It's gonna be a very tanky fight here. Not both of those heroes doing much damage at all, but no energy is finally there. He's gonna swipe him down. And the Lord is now on the side of Team Jejumon. You can see how uh, Renegade went on for a good assassination move there. Flanking on the side, making sure that he don't attack in front of his enemy team. So I think that was some good assassin plays being showed by Renegade on this Facebook gaming creator games that we have tonight. So far, look at that really tanky Tira on that Urine. He's not living. He, I mean, even even Tim Sinkit is respecting how tanky he is because they're not poking him out at all. They could have, they, they, they should try poking this one out even though at least, um, you know, put your, put this Uranus life into half. But let's see the team fight being executed. Everyone's just going in right now. Let's see if Team Jejumon will be able to put an end to this. The Lord is already hitting the base right now. Everyone's just going for a hero fight. But in the end, the Lord is going to hit the base. Team Jejumon will win our game one. Bit of a messy performance, but you know, a win is a win. I wonder if they will try to go for that Louie again. We didn't really